Hi, Super Spruce here, back with another Ordinal Marka video, episode 44, and it's been uh, too long since last episode. I have accumulated 40 billion factor boosts. I now have um, this booster upgrade, the base 6 is always 5, is now 5. I don't think this really does anything other than it gives me more um, factor boosts per second. Also, I have been optimizing my singularity. Right now, the optimal level is 45. 46 just isn't the optimal level at this point. I don't think I can do like these challenges Like like I don't think I'm I I'll try the challenges past the third completion But I don't think again. It's just it's just infinity ordinal points no matter what challenge I'm doing Like even in challenge 2 I can I can reach like even if I go up to singularity 46 like I, I can reach the max ordinal yet since it's infinity ordinal points, I can't actually do anything. So like even like this challenge I can reach, um, Omega to the Omega three, uh, Omega to the Omega cube plus Omega squared times two plus Omega times two plus two. Yet yeah, I'm guessing the to beat the challenge again. Yeah, infinity or ordinal points. So it's impossible. Um, in this challenge, I can reach Omega to the Omega squared times three plus two. I think that's the slug, that's the baseless milestone challenge. So, I mean, I'm, I'm nowhere close to this um, baseless milestone. Like, you can change the singularity faster. Like, I'm nowhere near that, unfortunately. So, and again, it's just infinity ordinal points. I can't do anything with it. Um, challenge five, again, probably the same thing. Yep. What, what did I expect? Challenge six. Yep. Um, I, don't, I don't know why I'm doing these, because it looks like, yeah, it's infinity ordinal points for all of the challenges. And they're all, for whatever reason, all the challenges are all white now, which is, I wonder if that's a bug. It's probably a bug. And then challenge eight, I mean, I could, you know, like, change the singularity, like, downgrade the singularity as much as I can to get more decrementy, and then maybe, like, change my singularity function build, like... But I don't really think there's much I can do here. Like I, like I, th I think the best build for this is something like, I don't know, like, I want to get, like, this. Maybe. That works. It's E33 ordinal points. There's not much. There's, yeah, I can't do it like that. Maybe I can do it like this. Um, it's probably not. I can get, like, 6 E33, but it's still just not. Or, or, or I could, you know, actually, instead of doing that, I can um, turn off the factor shift auto procedure, and then, okay, I need to, I need to exit and re-enter the challenge, and just M, M S M S M, or just S S, um, and then I have to go into base five and just, I I can I can get pretty far in base five, but just not not quite. Enough. Maybe I could. I should upgrade the singularity. Maybe that'll do something, because it gets me less decrementy. Uh, no, it doesn't look like I'm getting as far with with um, a higher singularity level. So I should lower the singularity. Maybe I can just refund one more time, and maybe maybe this will allow me to do something. Um, uh, no, it it's just not. There's nothing. There's nothing I can really do. That's the problem. So. I think what I'm just going to do, I'm going to exit the challenge, and then I will um, collapse for, a, hopefully, like, okay, it's not going to be a lot here, but once I have, like, the 4 billion factor boosts, or no, fa yeah, factor boost, this will allow me to get a ton of cardinals. Yeah, E26, which is pretty crazy, because this will definitely allow me to, this will allow me to reach E30 cardinals, so it's... It's, it's going to be sort of a slow accumulation, but it will definitely help things. I'm not really sure what else to do. I could grind decrementy, but uh, yeah, there's, there's not much out there I can do. I, I guess I I should probably go into my auto procedures and change this, and then get these challenges completed. Just every, every one of them should be easy. Um, challenge 8 should be the easiest of all, hopefully. Um, yeah, there, there's 12 completions, 13 completions is just l is a little bit out of the question right now, so I, th I, th I think I'll just do the other challenges, which will be, of course, they're super easy, and then 
I'm not even sure if I should go for 13. Maybe, maybe I will. Like, it's probably possible with the right build here, like this. Like, I, I, yeah, it's definitely, it's possible with this build, I think. Um, yeah, it's, it's possible, but then there's not much else I can do, unfortunately. I'm not really sure what I'm supposed to do. Like, maybe, like, I've grinded a lot of factor boosts. Um, I, I could grind decrementy, maybe it'll just... Could try, I could try to grind incrementy. So, like, if I turn off the factor boost auto, or if I, um, I should probably upgrade the singularity to, if I upgrade it to 46, maybe it'll do something. I'm definitely getting enough incrementy now to be able to double the production of it at E66, but that's the only reasonable upgrade there is. All the others are just way too expensive. I'm not gonna get a manifold. Which means no more singularity levels. Maybe I should try to get some Aleph Omega. Because I don't have that much Aleph Omega. So maybe maybe this... Okay, the Aleph 1 multiplier is slightly buffed. I don't really think... I'm getting more incrementy per second. So maybe maybe I should just go for some Aleph Omega here. So just like going here. That should allow me to reach yeah marginally higher incrementy gain. It's now almost E64 per second. Like, even if I was grinding this for an entire day, I would not even reach E69. Or, I mean, okay, I guess with the double production, I would reach E69, but I would not be able to get a manifold. I'm really unsure of what to do. I just, I just feel stuck again. Just like at Singularity level 23. I... Actually, it, maybe that's not a coincidence, because that is half of my current Singularity level 46. So... And I don't think there's anything else I can do with my build until, like, Singularity, like, 49 or 50. So, I'll, I could try to go for the 36 challenge completion, but I don't know how I'm supposed to do that. Well, here's my E66 increment, increment T, but that's about it. I don't see anything else I can do with that. I could try to go into challenge 8. I feel like this is probably the best idea to just um, turn, turn on the factor boost auto procedure go into challenge eight and um, just try to get as much decrementy as possible with the lowest singularity level. This will allow me to reach E4, E16 decrementy per second. I don't, I don't really like that because it would take a day to get any more dark manifolds. I, I don't, I'm, I'm stuck. I am definitely stuck. Or maybe it, I mean, maybe the Cardinals will allow me to um, get a few more singularity levels, but that's about it. Like I, like if I if I refund here and just like look at these, um, I need. I guess I can wait like two days to get one of these. Plus, I can wait like like this. I'm almost at, and if I'm getting like like let, let's see how many cardinals I'm getting. I'm getting like yeah, you know, one e twenty five cardinals per second. So that's like. It'll give me E29, so that means technically in E29 a day. So that means that I can probably, re I can definitely reach Singularity 48 in one day. And Singularity 49 in two days. But that's about it. I don't see anything else I can do. And like to get like some, like to get the Singularity effect as race to the 1.4, I'm going to need a total of 54. If I want to get the, um, if I want to get like this, or if I want to get this and that, I will need to have 50. If I want to get this and that, I'll need 52. If I want to get like this, it's just, this just seems so impossible. How am I supposed to get anywhere? Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm just thinking I'm just going to wait some days. So yeah, see you in a long while. Okay, it's been like 10 hours, and um, I have E1.7, E21, Decrementi. It's not really, I'm, I'm not even halfway to a Dark Manifold, but the thing is that I can get a lot of Cardinals here. E29. First, I can I can increase all these um, Olive Powers, which will definitely help the Decrementi and just the Ordinal Point gain, but um, that that's not all that powerful. The, I think the real powerful thing is what's going to happen to the Singularity level, so... 
what I'm going to do here, again, just do this, and then um, turn half of the Cardinals into the Aleph Omegas, and hopefully this whole I'm going to reach Singularity 48. I need 7.29 E28 Aleph Omega. I definitely have... Uh, yeah, I, I have enough. I um, actually have enough right now, so I, I'll just do it now, and I think this is going to be huge, because, like, the thing is, is that I can change my build. I can do this, and I think if manifolds are buffed, yeah, I finally, a lot of decrementy. I needed this desperately, honestly. I, I actually desperately needed this. I needed some singularity levels. I feel like I was stuck at 48, but... Manifolds are buffed. This is the savior. I'm not exactly sure how far I want to even go past this. Like, I sort of want to go all the way to E24 decrementy. Except I know I could probably just gain some singularity levels if I um, do this. I am yeah, I think I can probably get, let's see, one, two, three singularity levels. That puts me at singularity level 51, which is very good. Like, it's, it's enough that I can start, like, comboing some stuff here i i can't quite get the singularity effects raised to 1.4 yet but i'm getting i'm getting closer to that so i i feel like what i should do i should again just use this build keep trying keep grinding decrementi try to get the ee24 decrementi this should definitely allow me to reach a few more singularity levels if i can reach singularity level 54 i'm not quite sure if this is possible, but if I can get to 60, or not 50, not 64, 54, I think I will be able to um, do like a new build here that will be, like I think, yeah, 54 is what I need for this because it's 21, 23, 38, 54. So I, f I feel like that could be extremely powerful. It could, or at least somewhat powerful. It will be powerful enough to allow me to start like really getting some more stuff i'm not exactly sure how to get more challenge completions but just this is a breakthrough that i desperately needed so i'm just I'm probably just gonna grab this off camera and then honestly probably just wait like 12 hours to try to get as many singularity levels as possible so yeah see in a bit okay i'm back a day later and actually i have done some off camera stuff just gotten a few singularity levels i'm up i'm up to Singularity level 56 at the moment, but I can probably get more than just 56 So if I like I think if I go into first of all, I can get one just one of these But I can get two of these and all the way up to e28 dark manifolds Let's see how far this will take me also. I can I can distribute into some some of the cardinals to help get me some you know just get more of the olive power and that could help with the ordinal point gain I'm, i don't think it's really gonna help all that much but it it may help and no it doesn't really seem to be doing anything maybe it's just because my my build isn't optimized for that i okay what i'm gonna do here let's see how how much how many singularity levels i can get i can't get anything here but i can get one two just two i was hoping for level 59 singularity but uh no not not quite 59. It's going to be a level 58 singularity. This should definitely help me get some more singularity levels with, um, like if I use a, like, incrementy grinding build, this is just going to help so much. Also, I, th I think if I just use, like, a build like this, this will allow me to get more ordinal points. It gets me up to E34, maybe I can try to go higher. I, I, am, try I am really trying to... Um, get as much as I can here. Maybe I can do something like this because not, now I can perhaps I can reach an even higher ordinal. No, it doesn't really seem to help at all, which is a shame. I'm gonna try just one more build. It's almost the same, and uh, let's see if this gives me any more. No, it gives me less. So yeah, that's not gonna do anything. I'm just gonna exit the challenge and. Try to grind some incrementy. So there's definitely some new stuff I can do here. I can now, with 58 singularity levels, I can actually get this. I can even get this upgrade. Actually, look, there's there's a new thing. That's just good luck. 1,000 functions. I am, <laughs> I am nowhere close to 1,000 functions. So, yeah. I, I, 
I'll, I'll eventually get there, but not now. So it it looks like, I mean, this could be a, bit, a good build. I could swap between the left and the right upgrade, or I could swap th this upgrade for that. I probably I really need to change the singularity level though. If I let's see, 34, let's see, 45. It looks like I can actually. It looks. Uh, what's the optimal? Looks like 49 is the optimal for factor boost grinding, but I actually want to go all the way to 58, which is the highest singularity level. It's epsilon sub capital omega times 2 squared times capital omega capital omega squared plus 1. And, um, yeah, I'm sort of struggling to even get there, but it definitely will give me some incrementing. That's the big thing. And I have E69, nice incrementing. And I want to get E70 so I can get base incrementing multipliers raised to 1.05. I thought I was really going to get more than this, but maybe I just need more boosters or something. I I do not have the 2E19 upgrade that maybe I should try to go for something like that because that would help. Maybe I'm also using a suboptimal build here. So I'm just gonna I'm just gonna grab this. It's almost actually enough for manifold. I'm really close, but. Uh, I'm not sure if I should try to wait it out. I'm like, I'm like 250 away. I'm just going to wait it out. Okay, I made the right call. It just took like 30 seconds or less to get one more manifold, which means I am now singularity level 59. So this definitely, it's, it's pretty cool, but I don't think it's really going to do all that much to be singularity level 59. I think I'm, I'm going to try this build. Let's see if this build does anything. Um, let's see if it doesn't seem to be giving me any more incrementy than before. So maybe, maybe instead I can get something, if I, if I had 60 singularity, well, no, I, I would need more than 60 for that, but I can do something like this and let's see if that gives me that, you know, it looks, it looks better, but not as good as, as before. Maybe, maybe I should get the 10 upgrade. Instead of the six upgrade, I yeah, just got to keep testing all these builds just to see which ones. Okay, lo it looks like the best build for if I want to get incrementy is definitely um, this build. It's still sort of slow to get E72 increment. Actually, it's only a couple minutes, and then I can I can get that get this upgrade, and then it'll just be one more minute until I get multiply incrementy multiply by 1.2. So, yeah, seen a bit. Actually, I just lowered the singularity by one level and it helped a ton. So I should probably do that just to get some some manifolds. Like, let's see, I can probably, I think the optimal level is like 57 because I'm pretty close to capital. My, maybe I could even do that. Uh, no, it's factor boosting. Great. Um, I need to, yeah, it, it can't, it can't be factor boosting. But maybe 56 to 57 is like optimal. I can definitely I can get this. That'll help. Maybe 57 will be slightly better, or will it not? I'm not sure if this is better. I have E73 incrementy per second, and if I downgrade, um, I'm getting I'm getting like literally the same amount. So I don't really think it matters all that much. I think what I'm gonna go for I'm gonna go for the E75. Here and then base incrementy raised to the 1.05. That should get me, at the very least, it'll get me close to singularity level 60. And I think with singularity level 60, I, I actually no, there, there's not much I can actually do at singularity level 60. So it, it actually no, at singularity level 60, I can get both of these. So um, yeah, there's that. But that's about it to go for. Here. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna, yeah, I'm just gonna, gonna get this upgrade and then get that one. So yeah, seen a bit. Okay, here we go. Let's see how much this is gonna go up to. It's, oh, yeah, it's enough for another manifold, which is pretty amazing. This means I can get that, even though I don't, I don't think that really does anything. No, it doesn't. Maybe I can upgrade the singularity once, and that will help. It actually gives me a little bit more incrementy per second, but it's not all that significant, and it's, it's nowhere near another manifold. So. Yeah, maybe I'm, I I will just, like, I'm not sure if I should, like, grind factor boosts. I don't think that's the best idea. Like, I can't quite afford both this and that. But maybe, maybe this could still be pretty good if I 
get like these. Maybe this will, like if I, if I turn on the factor boost auto procedure, let's see how much I'm going to get per second. I, will, I am getting 93. Okay, I need more than that. And looks like the max is at singularity level 50 at 229 factor boost, or 20, 229 thousand factor boost per second. And note that I do not have the 2E19 booster upgrade. And that, I think that helps a ton. I like it went from like 30,000 to like 110,000 after I got that. So I'm, I'm definitely going to wait here and yeah, hope you enjoyed. Peace out.